हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर अनूप कुमार फ्रॉम इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ होटल एंड टूरिज्म मैनेजमेंट महर्षि दयानंद यूनिवर्सिटी रोहतक हरियाणा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन मॉड्यूल नेम्ड हॉर्टिकल्चर विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द पेपर नेम्ड होटल हाउस कीपिंग स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड the following the concept of horticulture the prerequisite of effective horticulture you will be able to identify the outdoor gardens and important elements of outdoor gardening you will be able to recognize the indoor gardens and how to maintain indoor gardens students you will also be able to describe bonsai trees as important elements of indoor gardening further you will be able to identify various gardening tools used by the gardener students the flora of the hotel contributes to the decor of the hotel moreover it freshen up the atmosphere and creates a lasting impression on guests it has a beneficial effect on the health of the guest even more on the staff therefore a full time horticulturist is appointed either on the payroll of the hotel or on contract basis which works under housekeeping departments the job of horticulturists include care and execution and maintenance of plants timely replacement of old old plants with the new one beautification of indoor and outdoor gardens etc the work related to horticulture starts even before the inception of the hotel as the areas for the landscaping should be clearly earmarked so that it could be planned well in advance students let us understand the meaning of horticulture the word horticulture is derived from a latin word hortus which means garden and collar which means cultivating so horticulture is a branch of agriculture that basically deals with the art science technology and business of growing plants it includes the cultivation of medicinal plants fruits vegetables nuts seeds herbs sprouts flowers seeds and non food crops such as grass and ornamental trees and plants students horticulture is divided into various subfields such as floriculture landscape horticulture olericulture pomology plant propagation and post harvest psychology let's understand what are these let's firstly we'll talk about floriculture floriculture it is also known as flower farming and concerned with the cultivation of flowering and ornamental plants for garden landscape horticulture landscape horticulture is dealing with design construction and care of landscape also taking care into consideration of proper choice of plants and aesthetic effects for homes business and public areas let's talk about olive culture olive culture is the science of growing and cultivated cultivating vegetables this branch of horticulture deals with production storage processing and marketing of vegetables pomology is the another branch of horticulture which basically is the science of growing and cultivating fruits plant propagation plant propagation is the process of creating new plants from variety of sources such as seeds cutting bulbs and other plants parts last branch of horticulture is post harvest psychology which deals with post harvest handling grading packaging storage processing value addition marketing etc of horticulture crops students let's discuss some prerequisite for effective horticultures there are certain things that have to be taken into consideration in order to have effective horticulture these includes firstly the availability of light the availability of light 
plays an important role in terms of survival of the plants. Generally, there are two types of lights. One is natural and another is artificial. Sunlight is very important for plants since they make their food in the presence of sunlight. The another prerequisite of effective horticulture is direction of hemisphere. Whether the hotel is situated in the north hemisphere or the south hemisphere also has an impact on the garden. Since that defines the slopes, water drainage system for plants, etc. Designing and execution is the another prerequisite for effective horticulture. The architect should design the layout of the hotel considering the drainage system, water availability, sunlight and irrigation system which are required for the survival of the plants. Other important factors for effective horticulture includes timely availability of manure, fertilizer, water, sunlight, drainage, soil mixture and rainfall. These are essential factors for the health of the plant. Lastly, the essential element for effective horticulture is humidity. That is the factor for effective horticulture. People feel that indoor plants staying in an air conditioned environment remain healthy. However, the fact is that plants dry up faster in such an environment. Plants require humidity to survive. And in case of indoor plants, the humidity is low. Students, in a hotel, the horticulture has to deal with two important elements that is outdoor greenery and indoor greenery of the hotel. Therefore, the work of horticulture can be divided into two parts. One is the in outdoor gardens and another one is indoor gardens. Firstly, let's discuss about some of the essential elements of outdoor gardening. First one is hedges. Hedges is a fence or boundary formed by closely growing bushes or shrubs. It is also a line of bushes or small trees planted very closely together, especially along the edge of a garden. Hedge plants are very cheap, easy to plant and form an attractive boundary more quickly than many gardens. If gardeners imagine, as well as hedges provides structure to a garden. You can see some of the picture of hedges also. Students, let's also discuss about some of the plants which can be grown as hedges. First one is Duranta. This hardy shrub grows into a tall hedge and if not sheared too frequently bears pretty blue or white flowers by yellow berries. The another is Moria exotica, an evergreen hedge growing up to 10 feet. It has glossy deep green foliage. When in blooms, it bears cluster of white flowers which scent the air with their fragrance. Another plant which can be grown as hedge is henna, which is excellent for screen. It needs periodical pruning and can be planted directly by cutting or by seeds. Then hibiscus is the another shrub which can be grown as hedge. This has many varieties out of which Rosa serenesis is wide spreading one. It grows 5 to 8 feet high with thick foliage and red flowers. Then last is Bougainvillea. Bougainvillea is one of the most hardy and versatile shrub with a profusion of flowers. Make a very compact hedge and thick barriers. It requires timely and regular pruning. Students, the another element of outdoor gardenings are lawns. Lawn is an area of soil covered land planted with grasses or other durable plants which are maintained at a short height used for aesthetic and recreational purposes. Well maintained lawns 
reduce the land erosion from wind and water because both healthy soil and grasses that make up your lawn create a protective layer from the elements lawn also help in cooling the air actually they act as a natural air conditioner the lawn also act as a air filter it is a great benefit for those guests who suffer from dust and pollution allergies the dirty particles in the air are trapped in the grass and pulled down and away from water trapping and then moving a significant amount of pollutants out of the air there are some points which must be taken into consideration while maintaining a lawn in the hotel first of all the gardener must test the soil and apply the fertilizer accordingly check the acidity and alkalinity of lawn soil by performing a soil test if the soil is slightly acidic raise the ph level by using a drop spreader to add pulverized lime to the lawn to lower the ph or moderately alkaline soil add organic materials such as peat moss for soil with extremely high ph aimed it with sulfur or iron sulfate another important point which must be taken into consideration is the selection of grasses while selecting a grass for the lawn it is necessary to consider the species that will be best adapted to the environment conditions and to the intended use and maintenance level of a particular site another important point which must be taken into consideration is mowing proper mowing increases the density of the lawn which in turns decreases weeds each type of grass is in your line, lawn and mow at the proper height strict to the one third rule never remove more than one third of the grass blades length at any one time then watering is the another essential element of lawn as too much or too little can harm them on an average most lawns need 1 to 1.5 inch of water per week to stay lush and green that water can come from rainfall or irrigation the water needs of a lawn also depend upon lot of factors such as soil type sunlight grass type regional climate etc the best time to water a lawn is early morning so that less water is lost due to evaporation fertilizers are the another important element which need to be taken care of fertilizers are organic or inorganic materials that are applied to the soil of the plant to improve its health and provide sufficient mineral nutrient elements fertilizers can help the lawn to stay healthy encourage leaf and root growth also reduces troublesome weeds fertilizers also aid in recovering lost nutrients and help the lawn in recovering from various activities fertilizers can be applied once or twice in a year and compost can be a good option to fertilize a lawn then comes flower beds trees and shrubberies are the another important element of outdoor gardening a flower bed is an area especially prepared for growing flowers a flower bed is an element of many gardens it is always advisable to keep one type of flowering plant confined to one bed or one set of pots arranged in an attractive pattern and kept well trimmed you can see one flower bed in the picture also then comes trees and shrubs trees and shrubs are used in gardens for decorative purposes trees fill some of the space of the gardens counterbalancing the flat areas 
दे ऑल्सो गिव प्राइवेसी एंड प्रोवाइड बैकड्रॉप फॉर स्मॉलर प्लांट्स ग्रोइंग ऑफ शर्ब्स इन अ ग्रुप इज कॉल्ड शर्बरी इट इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स वन प्योर शर्बरी एंड अनदर वन इज मिक्सड शर्बरी प्योर शर्बरी रेफर्स टू प्लांटिंग ऑफ एंटायर सेलेक्टेड एरिया विद अ सिंगल स्पीसीज एंड द ऑपोजिट होल्ड्स गुड फॉर मिक्स शर्बरी बोथ ट्रीज एंड शर्ब्स आर बेस्ट प्लांटेड इन कॉम्बिनेशन to create a pleasing decorative effect you can see one picture of some trees which are used in outdoor gardens then comes landscaping landscaping is the another important element of outdoor gardening the purpose of making a garden or other piece of land more attractive by altering the existing design adding ornamental features and planting trees and shrubs is called as landscaping there are certain things that must be taken into consideration while planning landscape like climate topography and soil must be taken into consideration while planning for landscaping of a garden think about your climate topography of the site and also the soil type when planning the landscape of a garden the topography of the site is important to consider as well as you plan take note of how water drains to the landscape the amount and length of sun and shade exposure must also be taken into consideration then consideration of themes also must be considered a theme can unify your landscape and help to guide your plant and material selections when deciding on a theme for a garden a good place to start looking at the architecture of the hotel themes can help in guiding how you place and select plants decoration hard pieces and structures make your plants work for you in your landscape early in your planning you should determine how your plants will function in your landscape plants can be used in number of ways they can provide you with fresh and delicious fruits and vegetables beautiful scenery lovely aromas and much more plants can be used as barriers to define areas within your landscape as well as identify where your landscape ends while planning for landscaping think about future also more especially taken into consideration how passage of time will affect the landscape plants when selecting plants make sure you consider the plant growth rate maintenance needs and its eventual mature size the protection of resources must also be taken into consideration while planning for landscape by choosing resources efficient plants consciously managing water and choosing environmentally sound hardscapes you can protect and preserves your environment so students above for few important elements of outdoor gardening which we discussed now let's discuss the another important element which the horticulture department has to deal with and that is indoor gardening let's discuss something about indoor gardening growing plants inside the hotel is an excellent way not only to beautify the hotel but also to purify the air as well as as well moreover indoor plants are also appreciated for their ability to add charm and liveliness to hotel guest rooms and public areas such as lobbies and corridors when gardening indoor there are two general styles of gardening one is container gardening and another is hydrophonic gardening indoor container gardening 
as the name suggests it is a technique of growing plants inside the container which are filled with soil and are made of metal plastic or ceramic or fabricated from concrete on the other hand hydrophonic garden is a subset of hydroculture the method of growing plant without soil using mineral nutrient solutions in a water solvent each of the method has their own merit merits container gardens are good option where plants can rearranged or can also be moved out of the garden container gardens can grow any type of plants in any size on the other hand hydrophonic gardens are a good option those are looking to produce a lot of plants in a small amount of space typically hydrophonic gardens are used for growing vegetables students let's discuss how we can care the indoor plants there are some points that must be taken into consideration while growing plant inside the premises of the hotel firstly is the light light is an important ingredient to the indoor plants yet each type of indoor plant demand different amount of light in order to grow indoor plants successfully the gardener of the hotel need to know the light requirement for specific plants moreover he must find a proper spot for each type of indoor plants as per their lighting needs the plants may die due to the improper light then another are water needs of the indoor plants when growing plants indoor water is essential the water requirement of a plant depend upon lot of factors such as type of plant weather of the area the amount of heat inside the hotel etc the water requirement may differ in summer and winters as in winter the plants required less water on the other hand during summers plant needs more water the general rule of thumb is that indoor plants should be watered only in the top of the soil top of the soil feels dry excess of water may be dangerous for many of the plants the water should be the normal at the the water should be at the normal temperature neither too cold or nor too hot it is as advisable to use rain water and pour it into the soil not onto the foliage then comes the use of fertilizers for indoor plants indoor plants also needs fertilizer to grow properly the indoor plants can be fertilized in any one of the two ways the first is through water and the another one is through slow release fertilizers if fertilizing through water add a water soluble fertilizer to the plant once in a month in warm weather and once in every two months in cooler weather a slow release fertilizer could be added to the soil once in every two or three months to fertilize the plants students now let's discuss one of the another important element of indoor gardening and that is bonsai bonsai is an impressive and stunning art form bonsai trees are miniature version of full size trees that can be placed in a pot inside the premises of the hotel building bonsai is a japanese technique which means growing the plant in a container the aim of growing a bonsai is to create a miniaturized but realistic representation of nature in the form of a tree you can see one picture of bonsai also bonsai tree are not used for growing food or for medicine instead bonsai practices focuses on long term cultivation and shaping of one or smaller trees growing in a container indoor bonsai trees are very delicate 
and sensitive. They need special care and attention. Let's discuss some important things to be taken into consideration while growing bonsai inside the premises of the hotel. Firstly, the watering needs. Watering is the most important element in growing bonsai trees indoor as insufficient water can lead to dehydration and too much water can drown the bonsai tree. As we have discussed earlier also, watering should only be given only if the soil dries out. The water should be poured gradually and the gardener should wait until it seeps into the bottom of the pot. It is crucial to wait until the soil gets dry again before pouring more water. In this way, bonsai tree will never drawn or get dehydrated. Then another important point that must be taken into consideration is pruning. Pruning may be done in two ways. One is branch pruning while the another way is root pruning. Pruning of branches must be done in summers though the root pruning should only be done when the roots are intervening the pots. Bonsai trees are very sensitive to pruning and this will make this art form more beautiful. Then fertilizer is the another important point that is taken into consideration for the care of bonsai plants. Water soluble fertilizers are the best for indoor bonsai trees. The insoluble fertilizers can make the soil very dry and end up killing the trees. The gardener should apply the fertilizers only once or twice in a month during the growing season. Indoor environment care is the another important point for consideration. All plants need sunlight to make their food and to survive. This applies to bonsai trees also. The indoor bonsai trees must be kept in the area where they are exposed to the sunlight. The indoor environment should not be too cold or too hot. Bonsai trees also require humidity so that their soil does not get dry. There are some trees which are sensitive to drastic temperature and humidity changes. The gardener must do careful research and have a close eye on the bonsai trees to grow them properly. Friends, Till now we have discussed about two essential elements of horticulture department with whom the department has to deal, deal with. The equipments which are used by the gardener and these are called as gardening tools. Gardening tools may be divided into four parts as you can also see in the diagram. Firstly, uh, first are the lawn care tools which includes lawn movers, racks, grass shearers, garden washers, etc. Second are the plant care tools which includes pruning sketchers, lopers, hedge shearers, long reach pruners, fruit pluckers, fruit pluckers, etc. Third comes the soil care tools which include hose, cultivators, forks, shovels, spades and diggers. The last comes the other type of tools which includes like bonsai cutters, sprinklers, hedge trimmers, hose reel etc. Let's discuss a brief about these, lawn care, uh, these gardening tools, lawn care tools. These tools are used for the maintenance of the outdoor gardens. These products includes like lawn movers. Lawn movers are used to cut the grass of the lawn. These lawn movers may be manually operated or these may be machine operated also. Like you can see a picture of a manual lawn mover. Then comes rakes. As you know, we are discussing about the lawn care tools. Rakes are used to collect the leaves and soil from the lawn. Then comes grass shearers. These are used to cut shrubbery, 
sherbury grass shears can be well understood by this picture also then comes garden washers you can see the picture of a garden washer this will clearly understood what garden washer is basically garden washer is used to wash the garden these garden washers may be manually operated as well as the power operated also now let's discuss some of the plant care tools plant care tools are used for the maintenance of the plants let's see some of the pictures and working of these plant care tools like first one is pruning sketchers these are used to crop flowers and their branches pruners are also available in different sizes then lopers are also used for the maintenance of the plants these are used for cutting of big branches these are also available in different sizes then hedge shearers these are used for the cutting of the hedges trimming sketchers these are small basically these are scissors these are small scissors used to cut the leaves and small branches then comes fruit pluckers Flu fruit pluckers are are uh, used to pluck the fruits which are grown away uh, away on a tree like you can see few of the pictures of these tools then comes the soil care tools soil care tools are used to maintain the soil this include hose which are used to dig the flower beds these are available in different kind of sizes one of the picture of hose is you can see then comes cultivators these are used to dig the soil available in different sizes you can well understood it by the shown picture then comes forks these are also used to dig the soil shovels shovels are used for digging up the large amount of soils shovels are used for digging up the large amount of soil then comes shades used for digging up the soil and also used for leaving of the soil then comes diggers diggers are used to dig the small amount of soil you can see the pictures of these tools on your screen apart from the above mentioned tools there are some other tools which are used by the gardeners and we have categorized them in the other category and these includes bonsai cutter bonsai cutter is small in size and used to give proper shape to a bonsai tree sprinkler sprinklers are used to sprinkle the water in whole of the lawn in equal amount then comes hedge trimmers these are used to trim the hedges of the garden then comes hose reel hose reel is used to extend water to areas not reached by the main supply of the pipe you can see the pictures of these tools which uh, through which you will be clearly understood by these tools students now let us summarize the module greenery around us makes our mind refresh a guest would not like to go to a hotel where he do not find any greenery and this makes the horticulture more important for the hotels horticulture has become an important trend as more and more hospitality establishments have begun utilizing the beauty of nature extensively to enhance the aesthetic of their properties the hotel can appoint a horticulturist under housekeeping department who will be responsible for the entire greenery of the hotel and these services can be outsourced also to an external agency this chapter makes us clear about the concept and essential element of horticulture for the purpose of making the entire hotel green it can be divided into two parts such as outdoor gardens and indoor gardens this chapter makes us understand the important elements of outdoor gardens and also 
tells us how the outdoor gardens can be maintained. Similarly, art and science of indoor gardening is also dealt in this chapter. Bonsai which is an important element of indoor gardening is also dealt in one of the section. The various tools used by the gardeners are also discussed in this chapter. Thank you students.